Oh, nice. Yep, that's me, regretting some of my more questionable life decisions. Now, you're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. So, let me take you back to the beginning of my visit to the disgusting food museum. Oh, hi, welcome. We've been waiting for you. I have your ticket here. Or if you're lucky enough, your vomit bag. We'll see. So you start off by going through the exhibition area. And when you feel good and ready, we'll meet you at the tasting bar. Have fun. As soon as I saw this, I quickly understood that this was not your normal museum. The Disgusting Food Museum is a multi-sensory immersive experience. What that means in normal language is that it engages all your senses. Visitors get to look at, smell and taste the most disgusting foodstuffs from around the world, gaining a close and very personal experience with the fringes of human cuisine. Now, the museum is not just all fun and games, it is also educational. The history, traditions and environments of our diverse species have shaped our culinary prejudices for centuries. And here, I got to unlearn a lot of those prejudices. And because I got to actually interact with the foods at display, the lessons stuck with me all the more. Here, I learn that disgust is one of six fundamental human emotions. And uh, while this emotion is universal, what foods we find disgusting aren't. In other words, what is delicious to me can be revolting to someone else. I asked one of the staff how they came up with the idea for this museum. They said that because today's meat production is unsustainable, we'll have to switch to insects in about 30 years. Yet most of us Westerners dread the very idea of eating one. So they created this museum to help us challenge our prejudices and perhaps our ideas of disgust so that we can embrace this inevitable future. Did it work? Well, receive yourself. Hi, welcome to the tasting bar. Hope you're not too full because we've got a lot of good things for you to try. Let's start easy with a little cricket. And true enough, the cricket was rather easy, but not quite as easy as my favourite break spread, Swedish Mitzmo. I mean, look at that, how can anybody not like this? Can I fall into And then I got to try a grasshopper, which was a bit intimidating at first, but once I actually put it in my mouth and started chewing it, it just tasted like kind of tomatoes. Oh, okay, good, okay. Then I got to try some blue mild cheese, and I can say that that was not the uh, most pleasant experience I've had. Holy shit! So yeah, that was my experience at the Disgusting Food Museum. It was a fun learning experience, and I loved it. Actually, next time I come here, I think I'll even bring my little cousins along.